Hey everyone, Kristen here from Team Brushna, and today we're going to be checking out the Runner Rave template, which is a cool template which will allow you to create a platforming game with collectibles. To get started, head to brushna.io and scroll down until you see the Runner Rave template. Once you find Runner Rave, press the Create button to open the editor. We'll start by actually customizing each individual aspect of our game, starting with the avatar on the left hand side of the editor. Click the avatar button to open up the different options for all the different avatars. You can scroll through all of these options until you find one that you're happy with having in your game. I personally like this chicken here, so it's the one that I'll use in my game. Next, we'll be customizing our game's background. Click the background tab. There are definitely a lot of options for different backgrounds, so make sure to click through and see which one that you like the most. I think that I like this one here, so it's the one that I'll be using since it has this cool little volcano in the background. Now that we've chosen a background for our game, it's time to customize our game's platform by clicking the platform tab on the left side of the editor. Here you can choose from three different options. You have your grassy plains looking platform, you have an icy looking platform, and you have this more like sand like looking platform. I think for my game, I am actually going to choose the like plain looking platform here with the grass and everything because I feel like it fits the background more because this icy background would definitely not make any sense. So we'll go with this one for now. Now that we've settled on a platform look, it's time to change the collectibles in our game. Navigate to the collectibles tab on the left side of the editor. Collectibles in the Runner Rave template are like the correct answers that you would want your players to catch and collect. You can scroll through all of the different options, and once you find a collectible that you would like to add to your game, simply click on it. I like this lightning bolt, so I'm just going to click to add it to my game. Now that I'm happy with my collectibles, it's time to move on to the non-collectibles tab. Non-collectibles are items that are not meant to be picked up by the player. And if you collect too many non-collectibles, you'll get a game over. There are many different options for non-collectibles, and just like the collectibles, you'll be scrolling through them for a bit until you might find one that you want to add for your game. And for me, I think I want my non-collectible to be this little duck here. Now that we have added in some non-collectibles, it's time to pick a music track for our game. Click on the music tab on the left hand side of the editor. Scroll through and check out all of the different tracks and if there's one that you would like to listen to just press the play button here to listen to it. If you find a track you like, press the plus button to add it to your game's level. For my game, I will be using this French jazz track, so I'll press the plus button to add it. Now that we've customized the aspects of our game on the left side of the editor, take a look at the right side of the editor and navigate to the game info tab. In the Game Info tab, we can customize our game's title, tags, category, description, and choose whether or not we want to collect player emails. For my game's title, it's just going to be titled, Collect the Lightning. Now we'll customize our game's tags. For my game's tags, I'm going to use Collector and Lightning, because I feel like those fit my game. Now it's time to select a category for our game. Categories available are Education, Social and Entertainment, Games for Good, Enterprise, Health, and Sports. Since my game is just a game that's for fun, it's going to be under Social and Entertainment. Now we can choose whether or not we'd like to collect our players' emails. For this option, I usually leave it ticked off. Now we'll customize our game's description. For my game's description, I think I'll just put collect the lightning bolts and avoid the rubber duckies. Now that we've put in our description, we are done with the game info tab, so make sure to scroll back up. And again, on the right hand side of your editor, there's another tab called the levels tab. Click the levels tab. 
The Levels tab is where we can customize each individual level. By default, Level 1 is selected, and you'll notice that our avatar, background, and interface that we selected earlier are all here. Since all of these look good, we can scroll down to the introduction portion and type in introduction. For my introduction, I'm going to put Lightning Larry Spark, because Larry can be our chicken character that we have, and he loves lightning, so we're all about trying to find his spark, trying to find where all of his lightning went. So we'll put Lightning Larry Spark here. Now we'll put a question for our game. Since this question will help players guide what they're supposed to collect, we'll keep it something like, help Lightning Larry capture his lightning bolt. Now that we've customized our question portion, we can go and create a closing answer. The closing answer is what's shown to players whenever they complete or fail a level. For my game, I'm just going to put, thanks for playing my game. Now we can scroll down and check our completion score. The completion score is used to help determine whether a user passes or fails a level. Now we have our collectibles tab. You'll notice that we can customize the amount of score points it awards whenever it's collected. I think I am going to up this to 25 since my game only has one collectible. And I think I'm going to make this rubber ducky deal 25 damage to the player when collected. Now that we've made sure that our collectibles and non-collectibles are set up correctly, it's time to publish our game. Navigate to the very top of the editor and press the publish button. Now that you press the publish button, your game has been published and is ready to go. You can press the copy URL button to copy the link and share it with your friends, or you can press the play button to start playing your game immediately. If you have your own website that you would like to embed your game on, just click the embed URL button to receive the code to embed your game. Now that's pretty much it. Now all there's left to do is to just play your game.